Welcome to another Max QDA video tutorial. This time we'll be looking at PDF files and how to work with them in Max QDA. Just as with other file formats, you can import PDF files easily via the main menu or using drag and drop, and then open them as usual with a double click. They basically look the same in Max QDA as they do in other PDF readers, and can be analyzed in the same way as other data. PDF files have the great advantage that they always look the same in different programs and operating systems. But on the other hand, you can only edit them in special programs. You can use these buttons here to scroll through the pages or to adjust the display, for example to fit them to your page width. You can also zoom in or out of the document by scrolling your mouse wheel while holding down the control key. To navigate through PDF files, you can activate the bookmarks window. If a PDF file contains any bookmarks, they'll be displayed here. Otherwise, the overview displays a list of all the page numbers, so you can quickly jump to a specific page in longer PDFs. When coding in PDF files, you have two options. You can either code the text, or code sections of the PDF as an image. For coding texts, however, the PDF must have a so-called text layer, and I'll talk a little bit more about this later. By activating the relevant documents and codes, you can then display the coded segments in the Retrieved Segments window, as you would for other file types. And, as usual, clicking on this indication of origin jumps back to the original location in the PDF. You can also add memos and links to external files, websites, geolocations, or other documents. Paraphrase mode works just like it does with normal text files. And the lexical search function also works in much the same way. You can then create visualizations, for example, of code assignments, word frequencies, or overlapping code assignments. If you want to analyze a large number of PDFs, or PDF files that are themselves quite big, it may be useful to save all the PDF files larger than 5 megabytes as external files to your Max QDA project. This keeps your project file small, and makes it easier to share it with your colleagues. PDF files are usually obtained from one of these three sources. By downloading them from an online website, for example from a library website. Two, by creating your own, for example with Microsoft Word. Or three, by scanning books or magazine articles. If you want to scan the text yourself, please remember that you'll only be available to analyze them as normal in MaxQDA if you run them through a text recognition or OCR program once you've scanned them and before you import them into MaxQDA. If you don't do this, the text in the PDF can't be selected because it's only available as an image. In that case, you can still code and analyze the PDF exactly as you would code and analyze images in MaxQDA. But you can't use any of the functions that are based on text recognition. For example, text searches, creating word clouds, or copying individual text segments. But even when you've run the PDF through a text recognition program, the recognized text layer doesn't always match the visible layer of the PDF. So it's important that you check the quality of the text recognition layer before importing the PDF into MaxQDA by selecting part of the text in the PDF file and pasting it into a text document. Otherwise, you may be in for an unpleasant surprise later when using the search function or when copying individual segments. 
And that's it for now. As always, we wish you all the very best with your research and your analysis work with Max Curier.